caught me thinking I should keep it to myself But I can't, yo, I need it cause it helps I hope you don't mind if I spill my vein The longer that I don't slack, I'm going insane Hey everybody, this is Stooge Kid, and uh, thanks for all the support on my last video. I was really having a bad time, and um, it's just good to see, you know, I have people out there that uh, actually care about me, so um, since you guys like that kind of thing, I'm going to start, well, not really like that kind of thing, but uh, I'm going to start uh, doing life stories, so um, might as well start off with one now, it's uh, probably... The one that's been in my head uh, for all my life, and uh, it's just been there. You know, just been niggling in the back of my head. You know, and I don't know what to think about it, but um, yeah. So I was about seven years old, so um, a fairly long time ago, and um, so you know, as you do, you're down in the park playing cricket with your dad, and. Um, you know, I, I, that was when, back then, I used to idolize my dad, but, um, that's kind of changed now, but, um, before that day, I, I idolized my dad, you know, he was my hero, like everyone else, you know, but, um, since that day, pretty much changed, so, um, we're playing, you know, he's always been one of those guys, if you don't, if you fail, you're a nobody to him, you know, and, um, so, what we'll do, we'll play in cricket, and I'm seven, just keep that in the back of your mind, but, um, I'm playing cricket, yeah, and, you know, I'm having fun, and then he goes, Liam, I'm going to bowl bouncers at you, and for what, if anyone that doesn't know what a bouncer is, you know, cricket ball bouncing halfway down the pitch, coming for your face, and as a seven-year-old, this doesn't seem like an ideal thing to be doing, if you know what I mean, so, what I do is, I'm like, um, okay, so I stand back, and, um, you know, I get, I get my stance, and I'm ready for this ball, and then, um, as the ball's coming, I see it, and I dodge it, and he walks down the pitch, looks at me, and goes, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm I'm frozen with fear. Like I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm like, um, just 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 bowl another one. I'll I'll hit it this time. So as he bowls, he goes back and I set up again. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, I have so much fear and you know, I my heart was racing and I was so scared. So what I do is he's running into bowl and I'm so scared, my heart's pounding. So what happens is, um, as it hits the center of the pitch, I decide I'm going to take it, and then it hits me in the face. And um, be aware, I was seven, and uh, I wasn't wearing a helmet at the time. So this hit me right next to my nose, and broke my cheekbone but what happened next is probably the worst part that's always gotten to me as he walked down the pitch I was bawling my eyes out I broke my cheekbone I was out and there's blood all over my face because it split it open too and I was just out you know I was like crying I was on the ground screaming because of this pain so what he does is he walks down the pitch picks me up by my collar, looks dead straight into my eyes, and goes, Liam, you are not my son. And and then the look on my face probably would have said it all. It was just pure shock. And since that day, that's the feeling of failure. So, you know, like, what do you do, you know? So all you people out there that have a father figure that you love, hold on to them, okay? Because what I miss out on due not having a father like you guys is I miss out on so much, you know? And um, this, 
what happened next is he not only did he break my cheekbone is as I'm crying there on the ground he puts me he shoves me back to the ground grabs the car keys and drives home be aware this is about a good half an hour walk home with my cricket gear and a broken cheekbone so as as I get home I stumble through the door I got blood all over my face and my shirt and I look like I've like come back from one of the slaughterhouse you know and my mum just looks at me and then goes what happened and I told her exactly what happened she rushed me to the emergency room but what happened after that is she asked him what he did and he goes I meant every word of it and ever since that day I have just lost faith in everything I've given up all my sport and I've given up everything because you know, hearing that from someone you used to idolize and, you know, it just, it tears you apart. But, um, you know, I gotta, I gotta be strong, you know, I gotta, you know, gotta hold on, you know, it sh it'll be good. Uh, once I'm older, I'm out. So, um, once again, guys, um, thanks so much for listening to this. I'll be posting more life stories with Stooge, uh, but, um, yeah, post your feedback in the comments below, and, you know, just, you know, support, subscribe, and all that, it, it helps me out so much, and every time someone subscribes or even comments or likes it, I, I get the biggest smile on my face, because knowing you guys are watching my videos and actually like what I'm posting, it just, it makes my day, so... Guys, thanks for watching, and um, I'm out. Thank you, guys. I love you guys.